Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and today we're looking at High Bit Startup Manager. As you can see, we started the program already. There is no portable version currently. It starts up with your main startup programs. This is the type of thing you'd see in CQueen or etc. Just a handful of things. And as you can see, it shows you when you click on it if it's running. You can click stop, start. It's got a lot of options. This program is really well thought out. I think you're going to dig it. You can delete it, edit it, enable or disable where applicable. Is that the way to say it? Applicable? I don't know. I guess it depends where you're from. Right click on any item and you can add it to a delay. This is kind of neat because as you know when your computer starts you could be starting 20 registry items or startup items, processes, services. You could speed it up by going to a manual delay or an automatic delay so for example when your CPU slows down and loads everything up then it can load it. could speed up your startup time as well by doing this as well as removing crap you don't need so you know you have to be careful playing around with this stuff one neat thing is to find in Google so obviously we know what OneDrive is but we'll take a look and by that right click search Google you can find out exactly what it is and whether you need it or not so this is the main program most of you want to mess around with now, not hidden, but a little more difficult to find is the power behind this tool. And that is over here in Tools. You have your Startup, Backup, Process, Services, Scheduler, and Context Menu. You also have, I should mention, a list down here. So don't ignore this. Startup, New Startup Items, and the Dangerous Startup. So under your Backup Manager, watch how fast this is. Yep, it's that fast. Simple as that. So Tools always do this backup create a backup close it process manager this is all your processes that are running not every application and startup manager will show you this stuff you really need to know what you're doing in the next few things I'm going to show you so if you're gonna mess around in here please be careful there is no quickly search in Google in order for you to do that there is file information when it has it and again, everything is going to be found under the right click menu. Terminate, end, terminate and delete when you can. Suspend, refresh, the priority. A lot of this stuff can be done through your control panel, but pretty neat. Open the file folder. Whoops. Let's try something else. All right. Well, that's going well. No, come on. It worked fine before. Here we go. Open the file folder. Uninstall. And a lot of times with your processes, they're locked and they're running and you can't do it. One small bug I noticed was that if you list by, say, CPU, it doesn't change anything. But you can see what's using the most processor. You have different colors telling you different things. So if you hit startup entries, which might be what you're looking for, as you can see, they show up as orange. Microsoft Wonder, you see the repeat from the main screen. Now, when you're done with this, just close it right here it'll take you back to this window hit your tools and your services manager once again advanced users once again by hitting type it doesn't change it which it does in your control panel because I like to be able to list by manual automatic so take a look at stuff that's automatic and then that gives you an opportunity to see if you have something you don't want once again everything repeats right click everything's a little different except for here you can open the registry entry which is kinda neat for you registry nerds and you can add a service as well as refresh, delete, and stop. Everything kind of repeats. Right click and a few different options down here. You can also search. You can also look at all your drivers that are running. Windows drivers. Neat. Once again, advanced users. Close your window. Tools. Scheduler Task Manager. This is kind of neat. It has a couple options. I'm not quite fitting in the screen here, but you get the idea it shows you all the scheduled tasks so you can also hide Microsoft and watch how many disappear yep so that brings you right back to kind of the stuff you've been looking at before so if I didn't want Google update I already disabled it so you can click it just as simple as that and when you're done now everything's running or uncheck what you don't want to run as well as we've mentioned before create a task here and close it and you're done and last but not least your context menu manager that is the right click anything you see on a right click depending on what you're looking at can be a different list of things as you can see so this is all of your context menu manager depending on your machine there's a lot of them that are run by Microsoft that you only see 
in certain areas. So your best bet here, although we don't want to go too far into it, if you want to manage these right-click items is to hide the Microsoft entries. As you can see, this is a pretty clean install of Windows, so I don't have anything installed that added more. So when you come in here, keep that in mind simply because the majority is probably better off left alone. You've been running them like this for years. That said, you can refresh. Here is File Sync. It is a OneDrive extension. You can disable, delete, refresh, uninstall, as we mentioned before. So disable just unchecks it, so it's a lot easier just to uncheck it. Some of these things are going to come back if you don't uninstall them first. So I was playing with this earlier, as you can see, it's in here twice. Reason being that I disabled it once and it came back. So keep that in mind, just because you uncheck it. For example, OneDrive is a good example. If you haven't uninstalled OneDrive, it's going to come back. So there you go. Once again, close out and we're back to the main. And you're going to see a lot more on your computer probably because this is a clean install of Windows 10 in a virtual machine. So pretty easy to use for most people if you stick in the front window. The rest of the geeks, you can get pretty nerdy over here. So if you're not real familiar with it, be sure you back up and be sure you look up what it is you're playing with before you play with it. And that's it. It's a really well thought out in-depth startup manager that goes well beyond what most startup managers do, especially those built into the all-in-one suites. So there you go, Hybit Startup Manager. Just go to Google and type in Hybit Startup Major Geeks and you can download it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please click subscribe and hopefully we'll see you next time.